Our next speaker, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the survivors of the attacks on 15 March 2019 at the Al Noor Mosque on Dean Zab here in Christchurch. A truly remarkable, humble, noble, and forgiving man. In the most tragic of circumstances, he has encouraged us all to live by the maxim, if someone does bad to you, do good in return. Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Farid Ahmed. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala jami'il anbiya'i wal mursaleen All the thanks and praise to the Lord of the Universe. May peace and mercy be upon all the messengers and prophets of Allah such as Adam, Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, Jesus, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon all of them, and Allah's mercy be upon all of them. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I'm beginning in the name of Allah, the kind, the merciful. وَلَا تَقُولُوا لِمَنْ يُقْتَلُوا فِي فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ أَمْوَاتِ بَلْ أَحْيَاءُ وَلَكِنْ لَا تَشْعُرُونَ Allah says in the Quran, do not say about those who are killed in the service of Allah, in the worship of Allah, they are dead. But no, they are living. Their soul is alive. Wala killa tashurun, but you do not perceive it. We believe. that people die in the good cause. The people who were killed in their worship, they are in paradise. Their body is going to be perished, but their soul are not going to be perished. The souls are in paradise. They are being hospitalized by Allah merciful. We also believe that people who survived with injury or the families who are going through struggles for their patience, Allah is going to reward them. And today, in front of all of us, I would like to offer my sincere prayers for the people who have been killed and also people who are survived. I would also like to offer my prayer to the New Zealanders, to the New Zealand for safety and security. And also I would like to offer my prayer for the people in this world for peace and happiness. Honorable audience, I would like to thank and acknowledge 
your presence today. I'd also like to thank the organizers to allow me to speak in this auspicious memorial service. I also like to thank New Zealanders for coming together to show the world that New Zealand is a peaceful country and it is going to be peaceful, insha'Allah. People ask me that why do you or why did you forgive someone who has killed your loved wife, beloved wife? The answer to this is I can give so many answers, but because of the time, I'll give only a couple of points. The first point is I have a faith. I believe in Allah, and Allah says that if we forgive one another, then he loves me, he loves us. In Holy Quran, Allah says, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Wal-Kazimin al-Ghayz, Wal-Afin anin والكاظمين الغيز والعافين عن الناس والله يحب المحسنين Those who control their anger and pardon their fellow human Allah loves those who are good doers so I forgive and Muslim forgive because they are taught by Allah, they are taught by Quran that if they forgive, then Allah will love them. I'll give one more reason. I follow a prophet, a messenger of God, like all other messenger of God, all other messengers of Allah that he is titled Rahmatul lil Alameen, Mercy for the Worlds. Allah says about him, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً lil Alameen. O oh my messenger, I have sent you as a mercy for the world. Without forgiveness, without showing mercy, I cannot be a true follower of him. Also, I don't want to have a heart that is boiling like a volcano. A volcano has anger, fury, rage. It doesn't have peace. It has hatred. It burns itself within, and also it burns the surrounding. I don't want to have a heart like this, and I believe no one does. I want a heart that will be full of love and care, and full of mercy, and will forgive lavishly, because this heart doesn't want any more lives to any more lives to be lost. This heart doesn't like that the pain I have gone through, that any human being should go, should go through that kind of pain. That's why I have chosen peace, I have chosen love, and I have forgiven. Also people ask me that how come you are still saying that you love him as a human brother? The answer to this is, our brother Imam has recited the verse from the Holy Quran. It says, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ya ayyuhan nas. O mankind, 
We have created you from a single pair of male and female, referring to our original father, Adam, and Mother Eve. So we all are Adam's children, Eve's children. We are one single family. We are human brothers and sisters. How can I hate my human brother? I don't agree with what he has done. I don't support what he has done. Probably he has misunderstood the whole thing. Probably he had gone through some suffering in his life. Some traumatic thing happened to him and he could not process well his suffering into the constructive way. That's why I don't support his wrong action, but at the same time, I cannot deny the fact that he is my human brother. Each human being is my brother, is my sister. This is my faith, and this is what Allah has taught me. That's why I do not hate him and I cannot hate him, I cannot hate anyone. At the end, <laughs> at the end, again, I would like to say a couple of words for the humanity. We all want peace. We say that we want peace. But we got to start from somewhere. We have to start cleaning our own heart first. We have to change our attitude. If our heart is full of love, then peace will start from here. And each one of us, us has responsibility. From wherever we are, we have responsibility at least to start from our heart. And the second thing is we have to change our attitude. Our attitude should be we human beings are one family. Regardless of faith, religion, culture, and language, I would like to conclude with my beautiful city where I am. This is Krashtar city called Garden City. And in the garden, we see beautiful flowers and we have to learn from it. In the garden, we see different, different types of flowers. They are different, but together they make a garden. They make a beautiful garden. They stay one beside another with peaceful coexistence. Even though they have, they have difference, we human beings have to be like this. I may be from one culture. You may come from another culture. I may have one faith. You may have one faith. But together, we are a beautiful garden. May Allah guide us towards the peace. May Allah guide New Zealand safety and security and may Allah make New Zealand peaceful and may Allah make the whole world peaceful. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
Farid Ahmed. Awalaikum salam. Tenakwe. Aruhanui kyaakwe.